<laughs> All right, here we go. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm here with the Alien 3D UFO box for August. My name's Jim. And I'm Lindsay. And this is the Edge of Tech. I have my arms out like... Yeah. <laughs> Like I said, it's August and we're here with the Alien 3D UFO box. I think we should bust it open. So, first and foremost, uh, I really like the watermelon theme. Robbie Mack, he did the uh, boxes now. And I know where the Godzilla is. She found it very quickly. There's a Godzilla on every box. You just have to look around for it. But if you look, we got a nice watermelon theme. And on the back it says August is like the Sunday of summer, which is so true. August is like the Sunday of summer because, well, unfortunately, that means we're almost done with summer. Uh, That's very sad. I don't like that at all. Yeah. I don't like that. Try again. Yeah. I can't. It says it right on the box. Yeah, but people like Sundays. August is like the Sunday of summer. Okay. It just means people like August. Oh, I like, like it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all. So, let's get this bad boy open. Don't forget about the little bumblebees. They're everywhere. And if you look at uh, one of them very closely, okay, we won't tell you. So, knife or scissors? I always get to open the box. Thank you. I guess she's opening the box. Because when you do it, you do it upside down. <laughs> we pop open the box and you can see it says August 2019. Uh, we got bumblebees, watermelon, and all the ways you can find uh, Alien 3D. Check it out. If you have not done that yet, uh, go to the link in the description below. You get five bucks off your first box, and it uh, shows Josh that we're sending people to him. I suggest just try one box. If you if you like it, keep going, but at least one box because they are pretty awesome. You ready? Ready. Let's open this back. What? what? There's airheads in here. Well... She got a uh, airhead. And, and it's watermelon flavor. And it's watermelon flavor. Nice to stay with the theme there. So we got a uh, sticker. And I'm going to pass this off to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can check it out. What do we got? Welcome to another exciting month of UFOs. Due to a lot of feedback I received last month about the preference of a downloadable media brochure. You're such a jerk face. I can't even read this. My eyes are all watery. Yeah, it's Guinness. <laughs> I can't read it. I feel another blooper reel read. coming on. There's a cat right here. Ready? No. All right. Welcome to another exciting month of UFOs. Due to a lot of feedback I received last month about the preference of a downloadable PDF brochure, I've decided to instead include these little info sheets and include and continue to offer the brochure as a download on the reveal page. Uh, this saves a bit of money that I could put back into making UFOs better rather than wasting it on trifolds. I hope you all agree with that decision. Um, and it tells us what the project is, and we will come back to that. It also gives us um, a shot of all the different filaments and yeah, stickers and stuff like that that are sponsors. in here. Sponsors. Yeah, they're probably sponsors, yeah. You can check out the full review on the website. You want to hold that? You just going to sit there? Okay. So, the first thing we're going to pop out is Marble PLA. The extrusion temp is a 190 up to 220C. Bed temp is 0 to 60. A C and 50 to 90 on the speed. I really like that. Mm -hmm. That's from, where's that from? I don't know how to say it. We'll pretend. Z Rui? Z, Z Rui, Z Rui, Z I R U I. Not sure how you say it. Sorry, we, we probably just killed it. <laughs> I think you're going to like this next one. I that know, I can sweet. tell already. That I can't wait really to print cool. with that. So I'll let you do that Ooh. one. It's ivory silk, but it's almost like an iridescent rose gold kind of a color. It is from filamentone.com. Ivory silk Pro Select PLA. Extrusion temp 205 to 225 Celsius. Bed temp 35 to 60. 
Nice. That is very fun. And it's probably not really easy to see on the camera, but I tell you, it is, it's, it's kind of a, how do you explain the color? Well, the silk. I mean, it's, it's, it's more pink than an ivory. It's like a, a pale, yeah, it's pretty. I like it. How do you explain the color? Hey, baby. How? What is it? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> or not. All right. The next thing we got in here is, uh, it looks like H and H 3D Plastics Natural PETG, which is clear. It's completely clear, which is pretty awesome. Uh, extrusion temp 235 to 245. Bed temp 0 to 68 degrees Celsius. It's a very specific 68 degrees Celsius, but it's cool. It's a, it's a clear. Cool. Yeah. I think we could do some cool stuff with the clear. I have some ideas. That'll be fun. And it's PETG too, so that would be cool. Next, what do we got? It's 3DX Tech Orange Ecomax PLA. It's 190 to 220 Celsius with a bed temp of 0 to 60. Nice, and it is kind of a cool orange. It's not like crazy orange. Mm -hmm. it's but like It's like a sherbet. A <laughs> sherbet orange. Makes me hungry. Yeah. I could print it like a, a road cone in that orange. Nice. Wouldn't you? I mean, it's kind of like that orange. Mm -hmm. It's cool. I like it. So those are the four filaments that we have right there. Um, we have a lot of other stuff in the box here. And uh, I guess we'll start with a project. So I pulled this out. And there's a whole bunch of syringes. Um, they're disposable 10 milliliter syringes. And I'm going to set those right there. Makes you go, hmm. Also, clear tubing. Interesting. I'm going to set that right there. But if I pull this up and I look on the bottom, you want to read in the black what the project is? I mean, out loud? I don't know what it is. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. I don't so, know how that. So what this is is it's four and a half foot of tubing and six high tech uh, hydraulic cylindrical gizmos, which are your syringes, and it's gonna uh, assemble the mighty claw. So what? When we're all done, uh, I did jump ahead and I looked on it. I didn't print them yet, all the parts, but we're gonna put this one together because it's cool. You put it all together and you use the syringes to move it. We're going to print that and we're going to post that on uh, Instagram and maybe we'll do a little video. Um, next, we got in here. This is awesome. So it is four bags that are ale uh, airtight and I believe they're ale tight. Yeah. They're airtight and I believe you can push the air out of these, um, which is, is awesome. And these are actually for your filament rolls, your full rolls. And I noticed, uh, just by spoiler alert, I looked on Alien 3D website before I opened the box, um, that he actually included 20 grams of silica instead of the little packs that yeah, usually are in yeah. these. These are actually 20 gram silica packs in each one of the samples. So we have four to go, one in each bag, and you actually can dump them in the bag if you want, or you can put them in just like this, but you, uh, there are also rechargeable. Oh, nice. Yeah, so these are the rechargeable kind. So that means we can seal four filaments and use the 20 grams of the uh, rechargeable dry here. And that stuff's pretty cool. So that's a pretty cool uh, bonus. Well, it's not really bonus gifts because in these boxes, you actually get a 3D printing supply in every box. And this month, it's these bags and that silica. And I think that's it's, um, a really cool thing to do because some people don't have the bags. Uh, maybe you have something you want to keep dry more more than we do. Because <laughs> I have a lot of my filament kind of out, but I also use Ziploc bags with the silica inside of them to help keep them dry. I like these much better. So the August box was pretty cool. It came with a lot of really cool stuff. I really like the bags for the filament. The four colors of filament, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I, I'm intrigued on the clear PETG because I want to see how clear it really prints. Um, don't forget... 20 gram bags of your desiccant in here actually go in the bags for your filament. So when you open these, uh, put your filament rolls in here, drop those bags in. Um, we got the hair, the watermelon airheads, don't forget that. The sticker, also uh, the parts for the project. There is a note, um, 
and it says, he says, I know the project parts this month are a bit on the cheap side, but this was because the next two months I have a couple of really cool projects planned and needed to budget. Well, I tell you, Josh, this is actually a pretty sweet project. When we get it all together, like I said, we're going to post it. We'll do a video of it moving. But, um, you know, we have to 3D print all the parts, and this is basically going to act like hydraulics to move them. I don't think that's cheap. I think that's awesome. <laughs> well, you could say if you aren't already subscribed to Alien 3D Boxes, knowing that these next two months are going to be cool, now's the time to jump in and give it a try. This is definitely true. Use the link in the description below. Uh, the next two months, like she said, are going to be awesome. So this will be the time to try your box. Well, I think that's it. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. We have a lot of fun making these videos. Uh, we'll see you next time. Keep printing. Hey, everybody. I hope you liked the video today. If you did, click that like button. Hit that subscribe button below. We are giving away a printer if we get to 5,000 subscribers by my birthday. It's September 12th. Let's do this. Don't forget to click the bell right over here if you want to get notified for the next great videos coming up. And uh, there's a cat on my head. Later. <laughs>